my mother's. May you never have cause to shed water from the wells of your eyes in sadness over me. May the tears and sweat that you have shed carry me to the port your prayers have ordained as my destination. When I was growing up, one word that stood in the way of me and my destiny was wait. When I asked my father, why is it that my brothers are in school and I have to stay at home to cook and clean? My father replied me with stern wisdom and he said, wait. When I asked my mother, why is it that my sister has been married off before I can appreciate her and thank her for always being there for me? My mother replied me with a knowing nod as if she was tipping a heavy load from her head and she said, wait. When finally I was sent to primary school, at an age I should have been in secondary school, I didn't ask why. My anger was doused by the waters of education and I was grateful for the opportunity to sail this boat into my future that I forgave my father for making me wait. At school, I scored the highest mark at the entrance exams and everyone congratulated me. My teacher, Mrs. Sikoke, she told me that the sky was the limit and I could not wait to hold that admission letter in my hand. But on this occasion, the headmaster decided that second place was higher than first place. Why? Mr. Headmaster, why? He told me that I was rude and he told me to wait outside his office. And there he came and he came me and he sent me home to my parents. When I got home, I told them what had happened. And my father, he put on his shoes and off we went. Oh, the joy I felt in my heart that my father was standing up for me. And I kept on saying to myself, Mr. Headmaster, just you wait. When we got to school, he bent his head in shame. And he groveled an apology for my behavior. He said he did not know who gave me the idea that I was going to continue my education. And that like my sister, I will be married off and he had already accepted my bride prize. He told me, do you need a certificate to pound the arm? Do you need a certificate to attend to your husband's needs? Do you need a certificate to bear children? Kneel down. I will deal with you for disgracing me. Ah! He made me beg that man who was standing in the way of my destiny. On the way home, I made a decision that no one will stand in the way of my destiny. When we got home, my mother's silence nearly broke me. Not a word, not a single word from her. Finally, she came to me and she said, my dear child, I want you to have opportunities. I want you to have choices. And then she put some money in my hand. And then I knew what I had to do. So I waited for night to fall. And then I ran away. I ran away to the city where my sister lived with her husband and three children. I didn't know how she was going to accept me. Feeling the way she must have felt being robbed of an education. But my sister welcomed me with a smile and a big hug. I thought to myself, do I take in her sympathy and tell her what I really wanted? Or should I wait? No, I'm not waiting. So I begged her and I told her that I would look after the children if her and her husband sent me to, work, to school while they were at work. She said she had to clear with her husband. What if like all the others, he told me to wait? I can't. 
I must go to school. They deliberated in their bedroom in what seemed to me as an eternity. And everything just played in my mind, going back home, getting married, not fulfilling my destiny. No, I have to go to school. But she came back and she said, yes, somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it was my first day of school. I picked up my bag, put on my uniform, and I headed for the door. And then I heard somebody call out, wait, ah, again? No. So I went back, sister, and then she said to me, these are my words to you for now and for the future. When you get to school, do not lower your voice in class. Don't hide your courage and your strength. Be you and become what you will become. And don't let anyone, not even me, stand in the way of you and your destiny. Oh, sister. This time, I picked up my bag again and I stepped through the door. I did not wait. And I became every girl and every woman who is winning in Nigeria. I did not wait. This is my time. This is our time. And we will not wait. And we will not wait. And we will not wait. Thank you very much.